Hey guys, so this video is a little different than my normal Fire Emblem video, and that's because I am a big fan of Dragon Age in addition to Fire Emblem. Now the thing here is we finally got an update, and let me just remind you how long it's been since we've gotten the Dragon Age update. So just a recap here, Dragon Age Inquisition, that was kind of the first open world one um, with the different zones that you can visit. There were a lot of quests, I really enjoyed the game overall. Brought back some of the favorite characters like Varric and Cassandra there as a playable companion in Inquisition. But that game, just to remind you, released way back in November 2014. So that's like, I don't know, seven and a half years ago. We're now in February 2022. And then we finally got an update all the way back three years ago now. You can see here on the official Dragon Age YouTube channel, the official teaser for the next Dragon Age was back in 2018 Game Awards. So that was a long time ago. We just had the Game Awards here just a couple months ago. So just imagine um, basically almost three years ago, uh, four years ago actually, we had the trailer for um, the initial teaser trailer for the new Dragon Age. And then there was silence. There was like nothing going on and you didn't hear anything from them for two years. And then we finally got a teaser for the next Dragon Age game and that was also at the Game Awards so 2020 so if they keep on this trend we may get another one soon um, but we finally got an update I mean since Inquisition there has been several things that has happened right so Bioware uh, sold over to EA and EA now officially owns Bioware I know Bioware went on to make kind of a very disappointing game in Anthem and uh, Andromeda wasn't well received. So I was really hoping, you know, Dragon Age survives this entire thing and it won't get cut. And here we finally have an update. You can see the update is today, February 23rd. And it says there's a few, few different stages of game development. They're actually kind of walking us through how the game development works. So first are the concepts and the pre-production phase. You know, they're, they're working on the creative vision for the game and laying down the technical foundation and the technical blueprint of the game. So kind of conceptualizing the game there. Um, the idea here is they want to be flexible and uh, try out different game mechanics, see which one they like. And then the production phase begins. So they tell us kind of in concept what the planning goes into and then the production begins. So production then they define as all about executing on the blueprint. So whatever they design, they're taking those ideas and putting them into a working game. Um, eventually, you know, the team hits an alpha phase, which is internal testing and then a beta phase, basically a wider test. Um, that's where they hire game testers or sometimes beta is made to the public. Um, where there's polishing happen. Now, they're telling you that for the next Dragon Age game, they are in the middle of production. So it hasn't it hasn't been completed all the way yet, where it can be released to alpha for internal testing. It's still in the middle of production. So they, they may not even have a working playable version yet. Uh, the blueprint was completed last year. So what this means is the pre-production and the concept, that was just really completed last year. So that really makes me question like, since we got the trailer uh, in 2018, did it take like two years plus for the concept just to get started and completed? That's a very, very long time. Now I know Anthem was supposed to be EA's uh, and Bioware's attempt at a live service game. We know that didn't work out well. So that's why it could be, it's possible that it could be delayed. So they're telling us it's been in production over the last year and they're focusing on creating amazing environments, deep characters, strong gameplay, impactful writing, and enjoyable cinematics. Gotta admit that the uh, cinematics and the choices in the Dragon Age games, kind of like the Mass Effect games, they're really neat and they're really well done, especially for Dragon Age characters. They have a layer of depth to them. Now, um, it says the blueprint is well understood 
and the team is focused. So this is important because a lot of times when you go into production, people are still trying to figure out how game mechanics work and there can be changes at last moment, which causes a lot of delay. I know you guys witnessed the launch of Cyberpunk and that was not pretty. So this is kind of uh, the overall change in the vision here. Now they say they're saying goodbye to Christian Daly. He started back in 2018. And at the time he was, uh, his most recent role was the executive producer over Dragon Age development. So I guess there must have been a clash in companies for Christian to leave. And likewise, they could have had a different concept which causes Christian to leave. Um, so they want us to know that even though this guy left, right, and he was the leader for a while, they have a strong leadership team in place to carry through the production and beyond. So there's a little bit of reassurance here that uh, they still can deliver on what they envision. So we, they have a new production director, his name, well, not necessarily new, but their production director is Mark Walters, who recently led to development for Mass Effect Legendary Edition and been with Bioware for 18 years. Now, with the Legendary Edition, I think the most uh, drastic changes were to the first game. The other two are actually really polished already, so there's not a lot of things to do there. Um, as far as design and game concepts, we have Corinne Boucher, and um, she has 15 years at EA. So that's important, guys, because you have Mac here, who's really a, a Bioware veteran, combined with Corinne, who's leading the EA side of things. I wonder how it will turn out, right? We hope, we seriously hope it does not turn out to be like uh, <laughs> Anthem. So they have another, they have a third person here, director of product development, and he brings an in-depth understanding of the franchise, thanks to having worked on every single Dragon Age game. So hopefully uh, with the two Dragon Age uh, people there, the Bioware influence is strong, and hopefully we don't get sidetracked by EA, right? So. Um, basically, they're setting up some expectations here. So this is going to be the news for a while because we're not going to hear from them until later in the year. So hopefully later in the year, we get more of a trailer. Um, hopefully uh, the game releases sometime in 2023 because right now, if they're in the middle of production, there's no, they're nowhere near to being released by the end of this year. Um, that's basically all the news. Now, the rest of it is just... Um, you know, they're talking about Knights uh, or the Old Republic in this case. And of course, there's a new expansion over there. A trailer does look really good because it did work with ILM. Uh, that's Lucas uh, Internal Industrial Lights and Magic, which is cool because if you listen to the Disney purchase, Lucas sold everything except ILM. ILM is kind of the money maker, the special effects studio. So that trailer is cool. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. They're also saying they're working on the next Mass Effect game. But as far as Dragon Age, this update, um, basically they want to reassure fans that uh, the team is still working. There are some leaders in place, even though they lost basically their primary leader over the past um, three and a half years since 2018. They still have a team of three people this time, not just a single person uh, to guide the vision. Two Bioware people, one who has worked with uh, Dragon Age his whole career, one who's with, been with Bioware in uh, 18 years, and then they have kind of the secret sliding in their uh, EA person. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I'm excited about Dragon Age. Hopefully, we get some sort of new visual or anything like that um, at the end of the year. I'm hopeful, guys. We'll see where this franchise goes. I'm just glad they haven't killed it off. EA does a terrific job of killing off well-established franchises. So let's see how this one goes. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Night-night.